Today I wanted to share with you some secret tips on how you can practice shuffling if you want to start learning. My whole shuffle journey, which was in my previous video, was a two-year journey, but the real heavy lifting was done within the past year, and I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Okay, it's just consistency. So I'm going to just share some like tips of like what you could do to get started on your shuffling journey and just, you know, feeling good. Okay, so what I like to do is just like put on a song that just like really like you like feel it and you're like, oh, dopamine hit. I love it. So whatever song that is to you, play it and just practice one of the skip, one of the moves. So we're just focusing on the running man. Remember, we learned this in the previous video. So let's just do it for like a minute. And then you, then you just like kind of like build up your speed. People like to do it to the count of a song. So like if you have a song on you're able to find on YouTube, you can actually slow it down to like 75%, 50%, and then full speed. Or you can just do slower beats per minute songs. It's up to you. Honestly, I just like going balls to the walls and just like going for it. Because then I'm like, oh, that's really hard. I have a lot to work up to to kind of like gauge where I'm at. So I kind of just like throw myself into the fire. Which, you know, you can use the other approach and that's fine too, but why not just like go, go all in, right? Coming in hot. So those are like the two methods you can do to like your progression of that skill or of that move that you are building up to. So the first one is the running man. And I would say a good second one would be the poly pocket or the X step, which is just going, it's literally the same as the running man, okay? I'm going to show you how it looks different. So I think the side is the best way. So when you're doing the running man, your, your hips are forward, okay? Poly pocket slash X step, same concept, but you're shifting your hips to the direction of the foot that's going down. So for example, running man is straight, hips straight, everything straight. Poly pocket, same beat rhythm, one and two, right? But the only difference is you're crossing your body. So you're doing more Shakira hips, right? Shakira, Shakira, get those hips moving. So that's the only difference between the two moves, which I incorporate mainly into all of like my shuffle flows because they're just like pretty and like cute. You know, I don't know. I just like them. They just like make your legs look like they're cool long and like you're like crazy legs, but like really you're only turning your hips. Just so like a good 20 minute DJ mix on and all you do is practice those two that you practiced in your practice into your flow stage. That's what we're calling it, okay? So your big performance. So it's like dress rehearsal and then the big day, okay? So in dress rehearsal, you're nailing down the technique. We're gonna start with the running man and the poly pocket as the two. And then later down the week, let's say these do that Tuesday. On Thursday is the big day, is the you know final performance. And so what you're going to do is put on a good live set of your favorite DJ. You can find those on YouTube. And you're just going to do those two moves for that entire time. Ask yourself that you're going to do it. And it's like not that hard, like 30 minutes. Like you got this girl. I believe in you. Or a guy. Hey. Yeah. So that's like the practice. And then you just want to make sure you do a proper warm up and cool down. But whatever. So we're just going to start with the warm up, which is like just kick your butt. Kick your butt like this. I always love warming up to 80 because it's just like always like a good energy that and like disco you know what I'm saying? to get the party started. And then what you're going to do is just start crossing with a full chest. So it's like, and then can I give a deep call to that for you guys? So that's a good, just like couple of moves, right? Get those hips warmed up. All right, and now we're going to shut the car door with our hips. That's the best way to describe this one. What we're doing is we're just warming up our full body in a fun way so that when we get into our practice, we are warm and ready to go. Back down to being done. So we got to take this vessel and park it down slowly. So just like moving your hips, but keeping that heart rate steadily decreasing and just like movements like this. You could do dramatic ones like this. I always love doing the twirls and a good snap at the end because it just feels so dang good. Try it. It does. Okay. And then just like more of these and this. So just cooling that beautiful body of light down. 
And I want to thank you all so much for joining me today on this quick little dorky fun adventure that we're on together. Comment down below if you want me to do a specific like shuffle. If you have like shuffle questions, then I can base that off of like what my next video could be. Um, but I hope I inspired someone just to start shuffling because it's possible. Change is possible every day. And like as quick as my transformation happened in two years, really one, if you saw my previous video, I'm not a unicorn. It can happen to you too. So I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and share with your friends if you so wish. All right, bye.